And again, uh, make sure it's CPU compatible. And another thing a lot of people look for when buying a motherboard is um, the features that come with the motherboard. For example, as you can see, this one has two USB ports. I don't know if you can see it, but just take my word for it, it does. Uh, another thing people like is it to come with a FireWire port, which uh, some motherboards do, some don't. And they also look for built-in audio and video. Now, how can you tell if your motherboard is uh, comes with these things? All you have to do is look for a plug that's built in the, on your motherboard. If it has a FireWire plug, then it comes with it. If it has a place where you can plug in headphones or a place where you can put your monitor in, then that means it has built built in audio or video. So uh, the benefits of having all these features built in, if you don't have something built in and you want, then you have to add kind of an expansion pack. We'll, we'll get into that later, but uh, it's just more work than you don't really need. So some people just want it right with their motherboard. And the last major thing that we need to make sure when we're buying a motherboard is the form factor. Now what the form factor is, is pretty much the shape of the motherboard. This has nothing to do at all with uh, like a performance or anything. We just have to remember what form it is because when we buy a case, when we buy our case, we have to make sure it fits in. We can't buy a motherboard that's three feet wide in a case that's only six inches wide. So, um, what I went with today for my build is we went with a PCI chips, which is the brand name. We went with a micro ATX for our form factor. Our front side bus is 1000 megahertz, which is a pretty sweet front side bus. And I also got onboard audio and video, which means we don't need any expansion. Our audio and video is built right in, so that's very handy. So uh, now that we got our motherboard picked out and uh, we learned the basics of choosing a motherboard. Now, one point I want to stress is the main thing with a motherboard is the compatibility with other parts. Therefore, what kind of motherboard you choose is kind of dependent on the other kind of parts that you want. So make sure that when choosing a motherboard, um, all your parts are compatible. So now we learn the basics of choosing a motherboard and what to look for when buying a motherboard. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned something. And again, make sure you're watching these tutorials in high def. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next tutorial. Thanks.